Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, dear students, we are going to study about the next topic, which is esophagus. And uh, I'll be telling you about the histology of the esophagus. The esophagus is a fixed mus muscular tube that delivers food and liquid from the pharynx to the stomach. The esophagus uh, courses through the neck and mediastinum, where it is attached to adjacent structures by connective tissue. As it enters the abdominal cavity, it is free for a short distance, approximately 1 to 2 centimeters. The overall length of the esophagus is about 25 centimeters. On cross-section, the lumen in its uh, li uh, normally collapsed state has a branched appearance because of the longitudinal folds. When a bolus of food passes through the esophagus, the lumen expands without mucosal injury. So as you guys already know that uh, histologically uh, the, the esophagus or the rest of the GIT is composed of four to five layers. So the first layer that faces the lumen is the mucosa that lines the length of the esophagus. It has non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Uh, in many animals are the epithelium is keratinized reflecting a coarse food diet. In humans, the surface cells may exhibit more keratohyaline granules, but keratinization does not normally occur. The underlying lamina propria is similar to the lamina propria throughout the alimentary tract. That is, it has diffuse lymphatic tissue, which is scattered throughout, and nodules, lymphatic nodules, often in proximity to the ducts of the esophageal mucus glands. The deep layer of the mucosa The muscularis mucosae is composed of a longitudinally organized uh, smooth muscle that begins near the level of the cricoid cartilage. It is unusually thick in the proximal portion of the esophagus and presumably functions as an aid in swallowing. So uh, there are three principal functions of mucosa. It provides protection, absorption and secretion. The cell mucosa consists of dense irregular connective tissue that contains the larger blood and lymphatic vessels, nerve fibers, ganglionic cells. The nerve fibers and ganglionic cells make up the submucosal plexus, the mesonous plexus. Glands are also present. In addition, diffuse lymphatic tissue and lymphatic nodules are present mostly in the upper and the lower parts of esophagus, where submucosal glands are more prevalent. The muscularis externa consists of the two muscle layers, an inner circular layer and an outer longitudinal layer. It differs from the muscularis externa found in the rest of the digestive tract in that the upper one-third is striated muscle, which is a continuation of the pharyngeal muscles. The striated muscles and smooth muscle bundles, they are mixed and interwoven in the muscularis externa of the middle third of the esophagus. The muscularis externa of the distal third consists only of the smooth muscles. This is a very important point and you guys should remember that as in the rest of the digestive tract. 